So now let's have a discussion about atmospheric pressure and gauge pressure. Now, if you want to physically understand what is atmospheric pressure, you have to imagine layers of gases. These are layers of gases. That is one above the other. So as we have understood fluid pressure, we can understand atmospheric pressure by applying the same concept. That is one of the layer is applying a force over here, then this two combined is applying a force, this three combined and so on. So when you define the pressure of atmosphere, you need, say suppose you are measuring the atmospheric pressure at this particular point. So you need to find the weight of all the above layers, all the above layers and the definition that is given to you, that is the atmospheric definition that is given to you is, what is ATP, atmospheric pressure. So the atmospheric pressure definition is given to you, the pressure of the atmosphere, the pressure of the atmosphere at any point, at any point is equal to, is equal to the weight, the weight of a column, the weight of a column of air of unit cross sectional unit cross sectional area this is unit cross sectional area and this is unit cross sectional area so i am taking a unit which is cross sectional area and the unit is length is one unit breadth is one unit therefore area is equal to 1 into 1 unit square this is 1 unit square this is unit cross sectional area now how long should be the area the area should be the point at which we are measuring the atmosphere from that point till the surface of the atmosphere till where the atmosphere exists so to the height of a that is sorry to the weight of a column of air of unit cross sectional area extending this is extending from that point extending from that point this is from this point to the atmosphere extending from that point point to the atmosphere to the topmost surface of the atmosphere to the top atmosphere layer. So this is the pressure that has been exerted. So this is what you know. Now pressure is nothing but force by area. So what is the force? That is the force is developed due to the weight that is one above the other because atmosphere is made up of gases. So gases has weight. Gas has weight. So if the gas has weight, then it will apply a force downward because it has weight. So what is the total force that is experienced divided by unit cross sectional area to give you the pressure that is and this type of pressure is known as atmospheric pressure. So this is how we define atmospheric pressure. Now let's come to the gauge pressure. When you talk about gauge pressure, Say suppose, in the absence of atmosphere, you have a liquid. Now at the height edge, due to the above surface, you experience a pressure P, which is rho density of water, this is density. How denser is the liquid? 
g acceleration due to gravity and h and height so pressure at this point is rho gh now if in the presence of atmosphere if in the presence of atmosphere you calculate that is you calculate the pressure this is p is actually equal to p of atmosphere plus rho gh therefore there is a difference therefore there is a difference in pressure because of p in the absence of atmosphere and p in the presence of atmosphere presence of atmosphere and p absence of atmosphere this is how i have denoted the notations so if you take the difference between pressure in the presence of atmosphere minus pressure in the absence of atmosphere you will have the difference you will have a difference which is unique so the axis of pressure at the depth edge if you look at the axis of pressure at the depth edge because of the presence and absence of atmosphere that is because of the difference of presence and absence of atmosphere you will then have the difference to be known as the your gauge pressure gauge pressure so this is what we understand by gauge pressure 